also here with just a few designs. First, um, I'm going to try to make another card today, but I wanted to thank the Lindsay Stamping people. Um, I've joined two other contests. Uh, one was a blog hop and one was a um, you entered a design and people voted for you and if you won, you won a gift. And either uh, I cannot say that I never win anything because I've won twice with them. One was a blog hop and the other, well, like I said, was that that thing. I think I'm repeating myself now. And I'm so excited because both times they've sent me their products. I've got the um, Starburst Spray in uh, Jazzy Jiven Purple and they sent me the Starburst Hottie Patootie Hot Pink. I like that just because of the name. I like to say that. Hottie Patootie. <laughs> and then this is a, a Dabber and it's a Dark Chocolate Truffle. And um, they sent this Moon Shadow uh, land lover green and these colors are so pretty this is an embossing powder and it's the moon glow two-tone embossing powder Caesar's gold and they sent this star starburst stain moon glow and this is the cement green um, this is the only one that I'm not sure how you use it uh, moon glow magical Carpathian bluebells uh, I'm wondering if you said like the um, Pearly, pearl by um, Ranger, or uh, I'm not sure how to use that one. I'll find out. But they, so much glimmer. Uh, I re I'm sold. Uh, I I got um, three things this last time, and I got the four with the first with the blob hop. I just hadn't gone around to um, thanking them and doing a video to show you all what I had gotten. Um, I was so excited to get them, and um, let me show you this. I used this is the one product that I've used already, the um, the stain, the sea mint green. And what I did is I just it said that you could brush it on. So I used the big brush and I brushed it on here. This is what the paper looked like before and this is after I rubbed that on there. And oh my god at the shiny. Look at that. It just glistens so oh it's just beautiful. I love it. And um, do it first before you do your project because it's going to be really wet and then I just dried it with the with the heat gun and I put it on this paper also I just brushed it on and I liked the fact that you can use your brush to brush it on because you don't have to use as much and it's a lot more controlled and spraying it on there I, I had you know control of where I wanted brushed on and, and what I wanted to do with it. Um, I loved it. I'm going to use this to make a card. I also, I stamped, I stamped this little guy. He is from Inca Dinka, Inca Dinka Do. <laughs> That's hard for me to say. Um, so I stamped him and then I used the, which one did I use? I used the, this. I used the chocolate truffle on him. And I just rubbed it all over his little body. And so now he's really, really shiny. I was trying that on him because I didn't know if I would like it. And then I used it on him. And then I also used some Copic markers. And I used my white and my black ink to work his face. And I used some of the pink Copic for, to give him a little uh, blush and to shadow his side right here. And I'm on a dimensional card kick. So he's going to go on a card, and I'm going to make him dimensional. So I used the um, that same foaming tape that I used on my last video. I just love that stuff. It's easy to work with, and it grips really good. So I'm just going to put him on top of the other one. Like that. And I colored his little foot green, and I used um, these two from um, the gel sticks pins. I used the glittery and a um, one's glitter. They're both glitter, glitter gels for his little foot right there, just to give him that. Then I used Martha Stewart the bow punch, and I punched out a little bow, and it's green. And I put a little green bling half bling on the center and I used score tape for the back and that's going to go 
right there. On him like that. Now he's got a little heart right there. You see that little heart? I'm going to color it with a glitter pen. And I'm going to color his little paw in too. I'm going to mix in some green in the paw. Just a little bit. So, there's the baby. And he's dimensional. And before I did that, I cut his little hand. See, I cut it out. Because I'm going to stick something in there later on in the card. Okay? So, that's one piece that's going to go on my card. Then I took this doily and I cut the center out. And I used the same um, Lindsay Stamp Gang Starburst Stain, the Sea Mint Green. And I used the, um, the brush. And I brushed it all around and I did this. Then I used stickles and I stickled here and there. Usually just like little dots of stickles. And it shines so pretty. Okay? That's going to be part of my card. Something like that. I'm thinking St. Patrick's Day. So I used a Stamping Up rubber stamp. It says St. Patrick's. And I just stamped it on plain white. Then I used um, the Glossy Accents by Ink Sensational. I can't say it. Ink Sensationals. Okay. And um, I have this now. So now this is kind of thick and shiny and pretty. Okay. I'm going to take those papers, um, those green papers that I used the paint on and I'm going to cut a 5 by 5 area. Yeah. So I cut that in 5 by 5. I'm going to take the other one and do the same thing with it. This one. And I'm going to do 5 by 5 on that. I don't have room on my table right now to put this on there for you to see me cutting. But, um... I think I'm going to do this 4x4, four four, just so it'll be right on the inside. I'll have a little border going around. There we go. So this is going to be the inside of my card right here. Okay. I'm going to take my favorite Martha Stewart, the lace corner. And I'm going to do my thing. I just love doing this. I just think everything looks so pretty when you do that. And I may have to do this in a two-part. I hope not. I hate doing two-part videos. Same reason that um, I joined Netflix, because I hate watching things on TV and have to wait till next week to find out what happened. I wait till the season is over, and then I rent the whole season and sit there and watch it one after the other. My husband still can't understand how I do that, but I just love to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put one inside of the other like this. Okay. So, let me get my glue out. And I'm going to have to put this on a piece of... Um, I think I went a little heavy on the stain, because my paper got really, really wet when I used it, and it wants to curl up now, so... Um, you know, I'm learning. I've never used them before until now, and uh, I love them, but I, I need to I need to keep remembering that sometimes less is more. It wants to curl up with me. So there. So now I have that. That's the front of my card. Okay. Now on that, I'm going to glue this, and I'm going to put it up to the center. Up a little bit like that so you can still see the green showing right there. And I'm using Aline's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. I have learned to just love that glue. It is awesome. 
Okay. So there. That is the front. That's going to be the front of my card. Okay. Now, this, I am going to take what's left of that green right here. And I'm going to use my scallop um, punch. Like there you go. And you know that that's that one that I sprayed or that I brushed on that um, I just love how it looks. I'm going to take some of my what's left on that ink from um, Tim Holtz, the distressing ink, the tea dye, my favorite, and just go around it very lightly. Just enough to give it a little bit of a shade. Like that. Now, I put some of that foam tape on the back of the Happy St. Patrick's Day sign right there. And I'm going to center that on the circle. Just like that. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that tape. If I can find my scissors. I feel so rushed for time. I'm really getting spoiled to you stream. Don't have to worry about time. I can do here. But anyway, so I'm going to cut that. See, it says Happy St. Patrick's. And you, you know where I cut his little hand going up? I'm going to just stick this somewhere along there. So that it just looks like he's holding it. Something like that. I and I made a little green sprig. See, I made two of the little roses. The St. Patrick's um, sprigs will be going on on my blog, hopefully by the end of the week. And I'm just going to kind of position him up here like that. So. Let me get some more dimensional tape for him so he can be all nice and high up there. And I'm just putting it on the back. Okay, so he's going to go about right there. So I can go ahead and take this off. Right there, and then I'm just going to glue the little sprig right there, and I'm going to put this front to the front of a easel card. But that's what the front of the card is going to look like. It's going uh, it's to have a lot of dimension. You'll see through there, and his little hand is holding it. It's going to make it in time. There it is. Okay. So I can glue you down now. Right. There we go. So there, it's done. Ta da! Nice and quick. So now I just need to do the base. So thank you, ladies. I appreciate it.